Bethel youth, it's good to see you, good to be with you. Hey, I just want to say the reason that we do these devotionals is so that you would have a love for God's word. I think sometimes we can think of God's word as just boring and not applicable to our lives, but I want to show you that it's not. I want to show you that it's something incredible that speaks to our lives today and encourages us. Right? It's God's word. It's living and active. So today's devotional comes from 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 12. Here's what it says. Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mitzpah and Shen and called his name Ebenezer. For he said, till now the Lord has helped us. So there's a few things we got to know right before for this verse to make sense. One, Samuel's a prophet, just like Jeremiah, right? Samuel's a prophet called by God to lead the people and to call them out on their sin. And so Samuel was doing just that earlier in the chapter. He was calling the people to get rid of their idols, get rid of their false gods, and to return to the true God, Yahweh. But as he was doing that, the Philistines, right, this, this neighboring people group, they came and they attacked the Israelites. But before they got there, the Israelites said to Samuel, pray for us, pray that God will protect us. And here's what it says in verse 10. As the Philistines, I'm sorry, as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to attack Israel. But the Lord thundered a mighty sound that day against the Philistines and threw them into confusion. And they were defeated before Israel. So that's what brings us to, cha- to verse 12, when it says that Samuel took a stone and set it up at that place and called it Ebenezer. Right? The word Ebenezer literally means stone of help. So he was doing this to remember what God had done. So here's what I'm telling you. In this Christian life, we need to have Ebenezers. We need to have times where God showed up so clearly. We need to record that. We need to write it down. We need to to draw a picture about it. We need to have something to remind us because there's going to be days when we're attacked. There's going to be days when we're down. There's going to be days when it's hard, when we want to give up, and that we think that God has left us. But Samuel knew that the people needed to remember this time when God showed up and he saved them and he protected them. You need those too. Because I guarantee you this, there's going to be times when God shows up in your life in amazing ways. Ways you never could have expected or hoped for. Those are the times you need to set down your Ebenezer. Did you guys know that I have Ebenezers about you? There's things, encouraging things, that I write down. Right? When I see God working in your lives so clearly. I see him moving in ways I didn't expect. I write it down on my phone because I don't want to forget it. Because there's days when it's hard, y'all. There's days when I'm not sure which way is up and if we're, and what we're doing, right? But we got to look back at these Ebenezers. And we got to trust that God is with us. And he's, con- con- he's going to continue to be with us.